Hey Frontline fans, welcome back to Comic Frontline and fans, you're back with me, Mike Spider Slayer, getting ready to do Spider Slayer's Hall episode number 45. That's right guys, it's in a month, it's in a crazy month for me as I just got done doing a tennis tournament, and now I'm moving this week, but however, with all that crazy stuff going on, I still want to share with you the comics that I purchased this week. So without further ado guys, let's get started and show you the stuff that I bought at the comic book store. So yes, once again, it's that mysterious black bag that comes each and every week. And I got a new box, so it's pretty easy to put the comics in. Uh, all right, so first things first, if you guys are not aware, Venom issue number five comes out very soon. Uh, this is the uh, shocking return, I think, of Eddie Brock. Um, which will be pretty cool and then uh, if you guys are a fan of R.L. Stein, he's going to be doing man things so that's a pretty cool thing as well so check that out all right so what comics did i get this week well first of all when monsters unleashed um came out uh, i never picked up the first issue i picked up the second issue so i decided to get issue number one as I have been enjoying this series, it's been a good read so far. It's good to see these superheroes uh, doing battle against something against not themselves or some evil threat, but dealing with a little boy that they don't know that is causing these uh, these drawings. So I actually got this for me and my son. We both got a copy, so uh, he could read it. I think he would like it. All right, because he's a big drawer. All right, next I wound up getting issue number two of Red Sonia, uh, another J. Scott Campbell drawing as he's been doing the covers for this title. The first issue was really well done. The zero issue was also really well done. This is kind of, again, like I said before, reminds me of a, spy, uh, of a Wonder Woman title as you get to see Red Sonia be misplaced in time and she's, you know, thrusted in New York. And uh, she has never come across this. She thinks trains are dragons. Men that are shooting at her has these magical weapons, which are guns. And it's she's all out of the timeline. So it's really crazy. It's a really interesting book. The artwork is gorgeous in it. Uh, it's a really well done book. I've been enjoying it. So this is Red Sonia issue number two. All right, next we have uh, another book, and this is Savage Dragon issue number 220. As we get to see Angel here doing battle against uh, some creatures. In the last issue of Savage Dragon, we wind up getting to see um, Mr. Glum actually escaped the courtroom and he was under trial and he was about to get convicted and he escapes. And we got to see a little bit more of regular Dragon in that last issue too. So maybe we'll actually see more of that particular character maybe teaming up with his son again. That would be really awesome. So this is Savage Dragon issue number 220. Alright, next we get the issue of Action Comics. We have issue number 973, and um, I think this is a new story arc going forward. I like the cover on this one as we get to see, which is, is Steel, right, holding Superwoman on there. So uh, I guess this probably ties into the Superwoman series. Uh, I'm not 100% sure, but this has been a solid book so far. I've really enjoyed it, and this is Action Comics issue 973. All right, next we have Hal Jordan in the Green Lantern Corps. Uh, we have issue number 14. Uh, this book has St. Walker on there. And uh, it looks like he makes his return in, in Rebirth because we haven't seen him yet. And so I'm excited about this one. Oh, excuse me. I uh, dropped my books on the floor here. I'm, ex I'm excited about this one to see his return here. And he's like, you crazy fool. He's like, you abuse the blue power destroyed every person on Earth. So what's going on there? I don't know, but uh, Hal Jordan, Green Lantern Corps, great book, as long with the Green Lantern Corps, great, great books. All right, next we have from DC, uh, probably a highly anticipated 
book, Justice League of America Rebirth, issue number one. Uh, we've gotten to see a lot of these one shots. We've gotten to see uh, the characters who are spotlighted in this series. Uh, it'll be interesting to see how this first issue pans out. Definitely looking forward to this one. And this is Justice League America Rebirth, issue number one. Next is the continuation of The Amazing Spider-Man Renew Your Vows. And it looks like uh, Spider-Man and family are controlled by the Mole Man. It looks like they're going to get dumped in some lava here. And how are they going to get it out of this predicament? I don't know. But this series has been really good as it's been spotlighted. Um, you know, all of the family members in, in, in the Spider family. And it kind of, you know, brings them more to life, I guess. I don't even know what I'm trying to say. Um, but what I'm saying, it really develops their characters more. And uh, hopefully this is the last part of the story arc so we can move forward from Mole Man and get forward with maybe the more important story on hand. But nevertheless, it is a good story. So this is The Amazing Spider-Man Renew Your Vows, issue number four. God, I lost my train of thought. Next is Inhumans vs. X-Men. Uh, this is issue number four as we get to see the continuation of this book. This has been a really good series as well. I want to say issue number three wasn't as strong as some of the other books, but nevertheless, this has been a great book. It's good to see these X-Men hopefully kicking some of the Inhumans' ass, put them back in place. But based off of this issue, it looks like Magneto has his hands full. So we'll see what happens here. So this is Inhumans vs. X-Men, issue number four. All right, next we have... Probably one of my favorite covers of the week, Miss Marvel issue number 15, as uh, this continues the whole uh, story where she's playing like World of Warcraft and she has this mystery person that's been tracking her uh, that's posing as one of her friends. And uh, this is a really cool cover as it's kind of like a Super Mario or type of cover. It's all pixelated and everything in her in her title. Uh, so that's really cool as well. So yeah, cool, cool book. Cool cover, Miss Marvel, issue number 15. All right, next, uh, from Marvel, we have all new Wolverine as this continues uh, the story with Laura going ape shit with the trigger scent and whatnot. This has been really well, uh, well done. I think Tom Taylor has done a nice job of it. If you guys haven't read this series, I definitely suggest go out and read it. I think he does really well with this character. And so this is all new Wolverine, issue number 17. And last but not least, everybody, this week I wound up getting Peter Parker, the Spectacular Spider-Man. This is issue number 27, and this is the first Frank Miller uh, book that he's done uh, in this series. He was the guest penciler for this, and then eventually he took it over. So I was happy to get my hands on this one. I paid seven bucks for it. It's not in mint condition, but it is in good condition. It's a, definitely a good book to have in your comic book collection. And if you're a Spider-Man fan, it's definitely a good book to have in your Spidey collection. So there you guys have it. There is the haul for this week. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Like I said, very busy week. Sorry for the lack of videos, but once we get through most of it, once we get through February and part of March, I'll be back on this regular schedule, but I wanted to show you my books for this week at least. So again, guys, as always, thank you for watching Comic Frontline. And until the next comic book review, check out comicfrontline.com. Check out uh, Comic Frontline Live every Tuesday night. And fans, as always, thank you for watching. And this is Mike Spider signing off. Take care, guys. See you soon. Bye.